Welcome to In60, and my guest is behavioural finance expert Simon Russell. Welcome, Simon. Thanks for having me. Simon, I'm going to ask you a series of short, sharp questions, where after very short, succinct answers, you can pass. Your time starts now. Simon, what's the most common behavioural bias that affects investors? Uh, well, Daniel Kahneman says overconfidence is the biggest thing. That's some other royal biases. I'll go with Daniel Kahneman. So how do investors cure or correct for overconfidence? Uh, in a short answer, I'd say with a great deal of difficulty, but if I was to go for one thing, I'd look for feedback. Can I get good feedback that's going to help me correct that? What's the biggest lesson you learned from the turbulent year that was 2020? I'd say two things. One is the oil price can be negative. Uh, that was a big lesson. And the second one is you can't have too much toilet paper. Beatles or Rolling Stone? ABBA. Is there any current investment or financial markets trend that you see as a fad that won't be long lasting? I'd like to say Bitcoin, maybe. What's the best investment advice you've ever received personally? Oof, good question, but I'd go for diversify and asset allocation. Get those two things right and I think you've got 80% of the way there. What's an investment or asset class in which you believe investors most need to be protected from themselves? Uh, perhaps where there's most information asymmetry, so private assets, private equity, unlisted assets. What's the worst investment decision you've ever made? Hard to say. I don't like to judge the outcome, the, the quality of the decision by the outcome, so I'll say I'm, I'm living without regrets. I don't have any. What biases? can you admit have got the better of you personally? Oh, definitely overconfidence. Uh, it's hard to avoid that one. Um, uh, am I better than everybody else? Maybe at some things, probably not nearly as much as I think. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Pineapple does not even belong in a fruit salad. What's the biggest change you've experienced in your own life on the back of COVID-19? Uh, not doing any face-to-face -face conferences for nine months. That's what I was mostly doing. Did none of them for March to December, January. Hopefully we're back soon. Simon Russell, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.